330 kilometers. This is a video illustrating the five important parallels of latitude. We mentioned the equator, the Tropic of Cancer, and uh, the Tropic of Capricorn. So you can see the equator at the middle, dividing the globe into two halves. And you can see the Tropic of Cancer above the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn below the equator. Now let's talk about longitude. Longitude is an imaginary line drawn on the globe which runs from north to south at right at angle with the parallels. Parallels are the lines of latitude. Now, Greenwich Meridian is a longitude which passes through London and Accra in Ghana, which is put at longitude zero degrees. So we can say that uh, uh, the Greenwich Meridian plays similar rule to what the equator plays when it comes to uh, longitude. While the Greenwich Meridian is for longitude, the equator is for latitude. Also, the Greenwich Meridian has zero degrees longitude, just like the equator which has zero degrees latitude. It is also called a great prime. If you don't call it Greenwich Meridian, you can call it a great prime. Other longitudes are called meridians. Now, we can also calculate local time using a longitude. And here are the steps involved. One, just like in the previous calculation, you locate the concerned places. Two, you calculate the longitude difference. And then three, you convert the longitude difference to time. And finally, you adjust the time according to the direction of movement, whether west or east. Now, let's consider this example. What will be the local time in Nigeria? Longitude 15 degrees east when it is 5 p.m. in Ethiopia. Longitude 45 degrees east. Solution. Step one is to locate the places involved. And from the question, the two places involved are Nigeria and Ethiopia. Longitude of Nigeria, which is according to the question 15 degrees east. And the longitude of Ethiopia is 45 degrees east. Yes, we have succeeded in establishing the two places involved. The next step is to calculate the longitude difference. Longitude difference would be 45 minus 15. Of course, they are both in degrees east. And that will give us 30 degrees.
okay we have established the longitude difference to be 30 degrees and now the next step is to convert 30 degrees to time now to do this we understand that 360 degrees makes 24 hours and 15 degrees makes one hour and one degree makes four minutes so with this understanding if 15 degrees makes one hour then what will 30 degrees make 30 degrees is going to be let's write 30 degrees if 15 degrees makes one hour therefore 30 degrees will make let's say we call it an x because that is what we are looking for and if you cross multiply do this simple mathematical relationship if you cross multiply we have 15 times x will give us 30 therefore 15 x x now will be 30 divided by 15 and that will give us 2 that's 2 hours because our aim is to convert the longitudinal difference which is 30 to time and having converted that we have 2 hours now I want you to note that if after carrying out these mathematical operations and you have a remainder in this case we have two being a whole number no remainder but if in a situation you have a remainder a remainder what you do is in the case of a remainder after the division you multiply it by four minutes now take note that in a case where after dividing like we did here and you have a remainder what you do is multiply the remainder by four that's by four minutes to have the appropriate time conversion now having gotten this the next step is to adjust the time according to the movement whether it's eastward or westward now if it is east if the movement is eastward it means there is a gain of time but if it is westward there is a loss of time now what do I mean now according to the question Nigeria is the time in Nigeria is what we are looking for and we know the time in Ethiopia So be 5 p.m. But of course we don't know the time in Nigeria. That is why we are going through all this to find the time. Now, remember your major cardinal points, which are The north, the south, 
the east and the west. I said, if the direction is towards the east, there is a gaining of time. But if it is towards the west, then we are losing time. Now, look at this. Ethiopia, at the moment, is 5 p.m. And Nigeria, at the moment, we do not know which is what we are looking for. And this makes the direction according to the cardinal point we have here to be towards the west. As a result of that, there is a loss of time. A loss of time. Now, seeing the direction of movement is with respect to the west, as you can see, in according, in accordance to the cardinal points we have there, there will be a loss of time, like I said. Therefore, the local time in Nigeria, when it is 5 p.m. in Ethiopia, will be 5 minus 2. Five minus two. Two hours. There will be a loss of two hours from 5 p.m. This two is the two hours we are.